there are some important things you're going to need to consider when you're looking for a spot to set up your studio. So the first thing you really need to think about is light. Where's your light coming from? And it's okay if you don't have natural light, but a lot of artists prefer to have some kind of window near where they're working. Think about it. I mean, people who are working indoors, they like to be near a window too. So it makes sense that um, you might want to have a window present if you can. But if you can't, that's fine too. You can use artificial light to help create um, this um, atmosphere for you to work. Important factor is just finding space because that can be hard, right? Like we all have busy lives. You have other people who are at that home with you. So you have to find a space and it has to be a space that is free from lots of distractions. So you wouldn't want to set up on the kitchen table, for example, or like in a busy place where you know a lot of people are going to hang out. You'd want to go to a space where you know you're going to get quiet and you're not going to be interrupted with what you're doing. So you might, it might just be a small corner. It does not have to be a big space, but you do need to find a little niche that is going to be your own. So I'm showing you a little corner in my house that you could theoretically like set up a little spot in. You may already have a spot in your bedroom area that you can kind of redesign a little bit or shuffle around. It may already be perfect, but I just want you to think about how you're going to organize your space and what kind of furniture you're going to have in that that area because you do need some stuff. Right, so I've taken some time off camera to kind of shuffle some of my existing furniture around. You can use whatever you have at hand. So if you have a coffee table or an old desk, use that. If you want to rig your own easel, that's fine. Try it. It's best if you use furniture and materials that other people are not using too. So some of my favorite containers for organizing are just jars that are recycled and I'm just showing you here it's so easy to do I'm sure you guys do it as well but you're just running a warm water and peeling off those labels you could even leave the labels on if you don't care but it, it is nice to have um, those jars because I use them for pencils I use them to organize my my brushes or other materials they're, they're very useful if you have them and I'm sure everyone has a couple of jars they can empty out if not enjoy some pickles or whatever you got that way you can have that jar. Here's a collection of jars that I dug up around the house that I thought would be like really good for sorting stuff. Um, I also use those yogurt cups. You've seen them at school, but I use those for, for water cups if I'm painting, if I'm using acrylics or watercolor. They're really good and they don't tip over that easy. So these are durable, essentially like free materials for you. So here's um, the whole desk setup. I'm putting a light there, so if it's dark or if um, it's night outside, you can set up some kind of lamp or light. Um, there are lights you can purchase, light bulbs that mimic sunlight, and that's what I'm using there, but really, like, you can get away with anything. Um, you just want it to be a comfortable environment where you can see what you're working on and you're not casting your own shadow on your paper. So if noise is an issue you can just put on some headphones and listen to music I mean I prefer to listen to music or, or hear something when I'm working maybe that's the way to go so I thought I'd show you my studio space and here I am not brushed my hair in like a couple of days but you know um, just wanted to show you my studio is also in the garage. A garage is not a bad place to have a studio as long as you are warm enough. I know my garage gets a little bit cold, but it's a good space and it's mine and I know I'm not gonna get interrupted and I have all my gizmos and gadgets because I like the good stuff. I got an easel and I have my, um, I have like a tabletop that I work on. You can see that I have a window there it's probably not the, the best setup, but you know, you just have to find and carve a space that's yours.